Oh, hello there. The name's Max. You look like you had a long, rough day of endless boredom and, uh, boring things. Well, let me fix that. You could probably use a good, suspenseful, powerful, magical, exciting, humorous, and unforgettable tale. Well, luckily for you, I have just the story. Follow me, follow me, into the sea, into the sea, I will tell you a tale, tell you a tale to stir up your thoughts without fail. Follow me, follow me, into the sea, into the sea, I will tell you a tale, tell you a tale, to stir up your thoughts without fail. All, all these affairs, all these affairs, the little, little nightmares, the little nightmares, little lost souls, little lost souls, they're all alone, deep below, they want to be free. Beneath the waves in the sea, follow me, follow me into the sea, into the sea. I'll, I'll tell, tell you a tale, tell you a tale, tale to stir, to stir up, up your thoughts without fail. fail. All these affairs, all these affairs, the little nightmares, the little nightmares, little lost souls, little lost souls, they're all alone, deep below. Allow me to explain a little bit about where our story takes place. The Maw. The Maw is a mysterious place indeed. They say it arrives at its destination once every year. Always at the same time, but never the same place. They say it creeps along the ocean floor with monstrous claws until it reaches its destination. Soon after it lands, the guests arrive. Beasts like humans who seek to do nothing but devour. After the guests have finished devouring, no one knows what happens to them. Man, raw fish again. <laughs> For the longest time, no one that had entered the maw before had lived to tell the tale. Until very recently. The maw is inhabited by a horrible, grotesque looking creatures. There's a long armed janitor. Oi, Roger! We need more fresh meat up here. That is, if you can stop gazing at that television screen for a moment. Oh, wait! You can't! Ha! I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, cheap shot there, jerk. There's the forever squabbling twin chefs. It's about time that old Coop pulled his weight around here. Gee, bro, don't you think you're being a little harsh? I mean, he's like older than most all of us here. Get back to work. There's the third eye, the wax bell man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm. I believe instead of bickering as if you were children, you two should get back to work. The guests will be arriving within a month. And finally, there's the lady, the watchful eye, the headmistress, if you will. They uh, don't like to disturb her. 
However, not everyone on board the Maw is cruel. There are also the gnomes. They keep the engine running and are actually quite friendly. There are also children on board the Maw that are kept as prisoners. It's that time of year now. The time when the north wind brings in new prisoners. What happens to these prisoners is unknown. But there are a couple that are certainly not going to go down without a fight. The gnomes were secret for the longest time. But eventually, a brave young boy discovered them while he was exploring the depths of the Maw. Hello? Is, any, is anybody there? I feel like I keep hearing voices somewhere. What is this? He's a stranger! Can't be a stranger than you! Back off! Back off! Chill out, guys! Maybe he's friendly! Alright. Oh? Probably the only one on the ball that will try to hurt you, kill you, or eat you. Well then, Mr. Nice Guy, how do we know that we can trust you? Come on, dude! This is completely uncalled for! Instead of chasing him off, maybe we could try to make friends with him? You know what? Your little friend here is right. If I do say so myself, the Maw is not a nice place. The little critters all alone. And lots of creepy creatures and things of the unknown. Let me guide your way and I'll be sure to help you through. You can really use a friend down here. And I'm looking for you. I'm the that you need when you're lost and don't know what to do. I'm your pal, your amigo. This is my promise to you and my hope you can see. It's a plus guarantee. You can call now, come on and just follow my lead. Cause I'm a friend indeed. He's a friend. What a friend. He's a friend indeed. But to spot the danger, a to stop the creep. Chum and not a stranger to resist. You need a kid who's cunning, but we have to take the lead. Someone who knows what's lurking in the dark. Don't fear this long armed monster. He's scary, yes, I know. But to see, I've also vowed to protect me from the such kind of souls. Roger. Depths. 20 minutes. I found something that just might help us escape this wretched place. Cause I'm the friend you need. He's a friend! What a friend! He's a friend you need! And here, still on the shore, we have our unexpected heroine, Six. Six was a pretty average little girl, but what was about to happen to her would change her life forever. Another sea pod. This one's spiky and hard. I like it. Oh, looks like I'll have to go in a little early. You, you are, are not, not going, going anywhere, dear child. Who said that? Who are you? I am the Almighty <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Almighty North Wind! Black So, Mr. North Wind, what do you. That's Almighty North Wind to you, young lady! So, Mr. Almighty North Wind. That's better. better. What do you want from me? It is not what I. It's what she won! Now away. away! Away! Down to the darkest depths! Down, down to the ocean floor! Behold! Come on!
another prisoner on board this here ship. It's called the Maw, by the way. So I've been told. Seven, who's this? Is she giving you any trouble? Ugh, would you just cut it out already? You're embarrassing us. It's all right, guys. She's not bothering me at all. In fact, stick with me, kid. I can tell you all about this crazy place and how to survive in it. Depths. Pretty much the only non-threatening part of the mall except for the engine room. I see. What's that? It's where all the escape boats are kept should something go wrong. It's also where all the old water from other parts of the ship is flushed down to. From there, it's flushed down to the sea. Gross! Actually, it's quite nice. Ah, what is that? <laughs> It's the granny. She's nothing to be afraid of. Any luck with him? No. Nope. I'm afraid as long as that old coot is around, you kids aren't going past the lair. I was afraid you'd say that. You're not talking bad about me behind my back, are you, granny? Can you blame me? Yes. Sounds like someone's got his arms in a knot. I didn't even notice his arms. However, did you six, please? Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. It's just too messed up. Thank you, Seven. At least someone respects me. You know what I'm going to say. Then do us all a favor and don't. That will be enough of that, dear Roger. If you know what I'm going to say, then why do you keep asking? Fine! Follow me. Psych! Nobody is going anywhere. Roger, you cruel old man! so controlling. I wish I could answer that, dear Seven. Sounds like it'd be easy enough to go over to him. I mean, try and run away from him? Yeah, he seems to be blind. He is. Well, unfortunately, his other senses have become much stronger. His sense of hearing is so much stronger for someone so old. I heard that! Don't act like I'm ancient and you're not! Excuse you! Like I was saying, his hearing is like that of a bat. His sense of smell is like that of a bloodhound. A bat, am I? A bloodhound, huh? Go on. What else am I like? And his bad attitude is like that of a Tasmanian devil. Like you got him mad. And that's not a good thing. Why not? Because that lessens our chance of escaping. Uh, what's so bad about being down here anyway? You don't want to know. Okay. So, what now? We should try and talk to him. I'm afraid that won't do any good. Can we at least try to talk to him? Uh, 
Well, I guess I don't see why not. Six, come give Granny a hug. Great, let's go. <laughs> what a charming young lady. Are you sure about this? I am absolutely positively not sure about this. Well, here we go. Bring it, you old hag! I don't want to see you! Uh, the granny's still in the depths. And just what do you two want? Well, you see we... If you've come to me about adventuring past my lair, then you can kindly buzz off and leave me alone. You don't even know what she wanted to ask you. The granny was right. You are a heartless old coot. Don't you dare disrespect me, punk! Seven, be nice. <clears throat> what did you want to ask me? Well, I, uh, I came to ask you why we weren't allowed to go past your lair. I, I don't really have to, it was, I was just wondering. Six, I think you're pushing it a bit. Thanks for everything. We'll try to be more understanding in the future. It means we will be more understanding in the future. Thank you, too. I feel bad enough that I've been able to tell someone else about what's been going on. I gotta say, I'm impressed, Six. That was an awesome performance. Thanks! You've just paved the way for a possible escape route. Wait, what? Seven, you're not suggesting we run away from him, are you? Of course I am. Seven, no, that'd be dishonest. Six, lots of bad things happen down here on the mall. It would be best to escape while we can. But he seems like he really trusts us now. Between the two of us, who's been here the longest? You. Who knows what goes down here? You. Exactly. In that case, who knows what would be best for us? The janitor. Yep. Traitor. All right, then. If you want to stay down here and get eaten alive by leeches, that's your business. Wait, what leeches? They come around here every so often and try to hurt us. The gnomes and I pretty much know how to defend ourselves, but they're still tough nonetheless. Then why would the janitor keep us down here if the leeches are a problem? Well, uh, he doesn't know about them. I'm not buying it. You're just trying to scare me into running away with you. Six, 
Lots of bad things happen to us kids down here on the mall. It would be best to escape while we can. What if the lady sees him out and hurts the janitor for not doing his job? One of the worst mistakes you can make down here is getting attached to someone. Then why do you care so much what happens to me? Can you imagine what he goes through living in constant darkness and fear? He's practically scared into doing his job, and to top it all off, nobody likes him. Can you blame us? He's so cruel. He despises us. That's not true. He hates us down here because... Because he's a cruel and heartless monster who wants nothing more than to watch us suffer. That's not true. He loves us. He really does. Ha! That beast can't love anyone. Nobody on board the mob can. I personally can assure you that that is absolute rubbish. Prove it. I found these creatures a while back. They're called gnolls. They're really kind and sweet little things. We love each other very much. Where are these supposed sweet little things then? He doesn't need to prove anything. He has a witness. I can assure you that these things aren't harmful. Hey, check this out. We have a new girl. Oh, we did. What a sweet little thing. Hey, back off, guys. I think you're freaking her out a bit. Seven, you're never gonna get anywhere like that. <laughs> what in the actual heck was that? Gee, you remind me of the janitor himself. Mysterious, weird, and just flat out ridiculous. Thank you. He's not ridiculous. Mysterious, sure. A little weird? Maybe. But not ridiculous. He has a good reason for doing what he does. Ha! That monster wants nothing more than to watch us suffer. He wants to be in control of our lives. He'll come stalking us at night. Sacrifice our stashes to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on the peace if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, friends. It's time to follow me. Past the leeches, through the water, through the darkness and the shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer, then we're there at the gateway to a lair, and there's something truly terrible inside. Beware of the man with the long arms, stalking us all alone in the dark. Hear him crack all his bones, but we're not coming home till he's gone. Good and gone! Beware of the man. I won't let you do this. Try, Try and stop us. Seven, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No. They don't stay too big, friend. Then we'd better hurry. We'll rid the mob, the janitor! Who's with me? I am! I am! I am! Like a torch, you got your friends through your courage to the sticking place. We're camping out a place to lead the way. Past the beaches, through the waters, where within a haunted lair, something's lurking that you don't see every day. Beware of the man with the long arms. We will rest till we've all been relieved. Sally forth, Kelly ho, grab your lighter, grab your bow, praise the Lord, and here we go. We don't like what he does, keeping us down here, it scares us, and the janitor is mysterious at least. Bring your blades, can't be late, we will save our own lives, we will strike him in the night. Beware of the man! Take one of those planks and make the big one, too. Ever be in your life, remember, the janitor is mine! job even harder than it has to be. What are you gonna do about them? I have my ways. <laughs> You're starting to look like me when the gnomes and I sneaked, it, sneaked out of the kitchens at night. Wait, what? What? I didn't say anything. 
janitor, you're all mine! Children, I'll take thee away into a land of enchantment. Come, little children, the time's come to play. Here in my garden of by the time they wake back up. That was amazing. There's power in his voice. I'm headed back down to my lair to get some well-deserved rest. I'll see you two later. Bye. See ya. Follow me, Six. I want to show you something. Okay. my friend.
tricked me. Six, we need to get off the mall. Lots of bad things happen here. Wait, what's that? Sounds like footsteps. I can smell you, little ones. us. I wanted. That's why, Seven. His arms would have been severed right off. Mm. Safe. I guess you could say that. I guess she did. Six. Thank you. You're a pretty quick thinker, Six. Thanks. What made you think it was a good idea to try and escape my lair? We were going to escape them all. Actually, we were on our way to the ladies' quarters. Why would we be going up there? Because her mind needs to be changed about how things work down here. I'll see that you get safely to the next leg of your journey, the kitchens. Oh, really? Thank you, Roger. But I shouldn't go any further than that. The lady sees you out. We understand. Roger? Oh, no. What is the meaning of this? I'm escorting these here children to the kitchens. What for? It's class. Why won't you tell me? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I know if I do, you'll lecture me like you do every other time I see you. What? Am I here to amuse you? I will not allow you to pass until you tell me what's going on here. We're on our way to see the lady. Six! What? No, we're definitely not getting by. What do you mean? What business do you three have with the lady? We want to change her mind about what how things work down here. Huh. What makes you think she'll change her mind? Listen, Bellman, we don't have time for this! The lady won't listen to them. So what? We still want to try. They're trying to get us out of this rug room. Cut them some slack. They're trying to do something good for us. Well... All right, then. Follow me. Thank you, Mr. Bellman. Now, was that really so hard, Bellboy? Smelly kitchen air and sharp and nice combined. This tender meat, both bitter and sweet, has a fleshy heart worth finding. So cut through the scales with a knife so sheer, all around we will be feared. Two good cows are at work here. Split the skin apart and find the fleshy heart. Our plan for success will let us in go. The guests have a hunger we can't control. It'll satisfy one, it'll satisfy ten, it'll satisfy a hundred men. Kitchen air and sharp and nice combining. This tender meat, both bitter and sweet, has a fleshy heart to find. So cut through the scales with a knife so sheer. All around me will be fear. Two good pals are at work here. Split the skin apart. Pull out the fleshy Thanks, guys. 
Our pleasure, kids. Just be careful, please. We will. Okay, we need to stay completely out of sight. Do you understand? Yep. Are you sure this will work? Be quiet. We don't want the guests to hear us. Yeah, we don't want them to think the ladies' lunch is talking. That is the dumbest excuse ever. They couldn't have come up with something like, I don't know, the box of the gold with old antiques that belonged to her that Roger found downstairs? These are the guests we're talking about. It had to involve food. Interesting, yeah. Well, then let us have a look. I swear we're going to have to raise the room. There's the elevator. Everyone in. Right. Can you let us out of these really tiny boxes now? Somebody in here has really bad breath. It's not me. Maybe it's you. I've never had bad breath. Oh, 
Thanks for the lift, gentlemen. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Anytime, children. Glad, Glad we could help you. Are you okay, Mr. Janitor? Yes, I'm just a little nervous. I understand, Roger. These two young souls are taking a huge risk. The path that they have decided to walk is a rough one, indeed. They're taking a serious risk, and they're doing it for us. Be safe, dear friends. We will. We're going to miss you. Yeah. I just hope we can make a difference for you all. Thanks. Thanks. Farewell, then. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Bye, now. Goodbye, oh, seven. Bye, now. I hope they come out all right. I'm sure they will, Roger. None of you should be up here. Who's there? It can't be. That's my cue. Blast it all. We're doomed. Seven? Yes, six. I'm kind of nervous. Look, you've got nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be just fine. What if the lady freaks out with us being up here and hurts her friends for letting us be up here? We won't let her do that, right? I hope the sun will rise. This is it. I can hear her humming. How do you know it's her? How many other women would be up here? Good point. Well, shall we? Oh, yes, we shall. Mm. What are you doing up here? You should be down in the prison with the other children. Thank you. 
I wish it wasn't who I am now. It doesn't have to be. You can use your brilliant magic for good. The mall would be a much better place if you would just be yourself. Let your true colors break through. Beauty isn't always on the outside. Sometimes it's on the inside. Hiding in plain sight. It just may take a little persuasion to break it through. Perhaps you are right, dear child. Perhaps I can be beautiful on the inside. Not even perhaps. I know you can. You are certainly wiser than your years. You are all free to go. You hold, my lady. So you ditch us for the whole affair and then come back when everything's all right. I see how it is. Calm yourself, dear Roger. All right, everyone. Some things are going to change around here. It may take a while to get used to, but it'll be worth our while. Tell her your ideas, Six. She'll love them. I hope you can make use of my ideas for the mob. And so, since the lady took Six's idea and brought them to life, the mall has become a much better place, and on top of that, everyone got a second chance. The older chef brother ended up having a true knack for creating beautiful artwork. This is much better than slaving in the kitchens without any breaks, ain't it? The other was able to pursue his dream of not becoming just a mime, but also a stand-up comedian. Okay, so why did the orange go out with the prune? Because he couldn't find a date! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to try the French onion soup, it's amazing. Good night. The granny pursued her dream and learned everything she could about it. I'm sure it looks beautiful, granny. Why, thank you, dear Roger. The wax bellman was able to put his dream to use on behalf of the lady. How does that look? It looks beautiful. Everyone agreed that Six's rough journey was worth every hardship she suffered through. The mod became a hot spot for travelers that wanted to explore the seas. The prison was turned to a safe haven for children to stay during long voyages. The chefs, upon deciding the guests deserved better than they were being served, expanded the menu to include plenty of different delicacies. All in all, a pretty successful endeavor.
Now it's the end, now it's the end, the end of the tale, the end of the tale. No more affairs, no more nightmares, they have a veil, they have a veil. Now it's the end, now it's the end, the end of the tale. The end of the tale No more affairs No more nightmares They've been a veil They've been a veil All, all those, those affairs, affairs All those affairs, affairs The little nightmares The little nightmares Little lost souls Little lost souls No longer alone They been found. found. They are at last free beneath the wave. The sea. Now it's the end. the end. Now, now it's, it's the, end. the end. The end of the tale. The end of the tale. No more affairs. No more nightmares. They feel a veil. They have a veil. All those affairs. All those affairs. The little nightmares, the little nightmares, little lost souls, little lost souls, no longer alone, they've been found.